What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. My name is Danielle. I'm losing my voice. Don't mind me. I've been doing sorority recruitment this week and let's just say I get really into the chant. Anyways, I'm coming to you guys from my new apartment. I'm so excited. If you guys haven't seen my college move-in vlog, you definitely need to go watch that to kind of get a sneak peek into my new apartment and moving in and all that fun stuff. It's 9 o'clock at night. I'm about to hit the shower and then just go to bed. Um, but I wanted to sit down and just kind of catch up with you guys because I hate that I have haven't had much time to like post new videos and stuff that's why I've been posting a lot of pre-recorded videos other than my college move-in vlog of course but I just wanted to sit down kind of touch base with you guys see what's up and do a little Q&A on my life so I went and posted on my Instagram story using that little questions feature it's so helpful and I just said hey guys ask me questions about anything I'm gonna be sitting down and answering some questions for you guys before we get into the questions I have two exciting announcements for you guys number one if you guys didn't know me and my best friend Brooke Michio released a podcast Podcast that is available on iTunes and Spotify. I actually just found out that we are number five under the arts category on iTunes and number 87 overall for podcasts on iTunes, which was really exciting. Our podcast is called Gals on the Go. I'm beyond excited. We just released our first full episode. We both had released intros, but our first episode is now on iTunes and Spotify. It's an hour and 10 minutes long. Our goal for it is well, for gals on the go who are driving to school, walking to class, going to work, in the airport, just want some good entertainment, kind of some inspiration. This episode is just about us catching up on summer. We talk about internships, we talk about travel, we talk about actually the randomness of things. So I will have a link down below to the podcast. You guys should totally check it out. Rate us while you're at it. Subscribe because we're going to be posting one podcast every week. So that's my first announcement. My second announcement is my backpack is still on sale. I'm so excited. It's still on sale for the $39.99 price, which is absolutely amazing. I just got this in the mail to kind of be able to show you guys what it's going to look like when you get it in the mail. This is my backpack design. It is perfect for back to school. I will have a link down below for it as well. Again, it's $39.99. Shout out to Margot Lee. She just featured it in her recent video, and I could not be more appreciative. Thank you, Margot. I love you so much. So I um, I want it to be super minimal and chic for this So I went with black with gold zippers. I love it. It's super durable and it fits a ton So it's got this inside pocket here with an organizer, which I love I throw my phone in here some pencils gum whatever I want it has water bottle or whatever holders on either side Which was really important to me because I'm always drinking water and then it's got a huge huge compartment inside but with organizers so you have this secret little pocket right here which is great for like anything you just don't want to lose then it has a laptop compartment with a velcro on top and a small little pocket and then just obviously a ton of room and also each backpack comes with a free mini little pouch and my logo of course is DC and then under it it says she believed she could so she did which is my favorite quote ever I wear it every day I've got it on my bracelet here so special so yeah I love this backpack so much I'm so thankful that I got to design another backpack because I did one last summer and it did really well so yeah a link down below for that if you guys want to check it out a lot of you guys have been getting yours in the mail and sending me stories on Instagram and I've been sharing your stories or pictures even so keep it up keep it coming I love it thanks for the support so that was that now I'm gonna head over to my Instagram and see the questions you guys are asking if you guys aren't following me on Instagram you totally should because I mean it's fun oh my gosh my dad submitted a question and it says how great is your dad dad I love you so much you're the best hi girls all right so we've got lots of questions and I'm just gonna go through the ones that I feel like a lot of you guys would be wanting to wonder Wanting to wonder, that is definitely not a thing. Why aren't you living in the KD house and are you planning on living there while you're at UGA? So a lot of you guys ask me, um, why are you living where you're living? Are you living alone? Are you have a roommate? Why aren't you living at the sorority house? I'll answer that for you guys. So at UGA, it is most common if you do want to live in the sorority house to live in sophomore year unless you are president or you're on exec. So, so I didn't really want to live in the house just because I'm a super independent person and I have this job, you know, where I like film videos and stuff and I just really didn't want to be annoying. I have some really close friends that I think I'm going to be rooming with next year. However, all my friends wanted to live in the house and I just didn't and I really love my alone time. So I'm living at my apartment alone this year. I love it so much. I haven't felt lonely legit once. It is so nice because in Athens, anything's going on at any sort of time. I can go to the house whenever I want. Like our house is actually apartment style. So if you live at the sorority house, you get 
Um, you don't get your own bedroom. You, have, you, you sleep in the same room as of someone, but then you have a living room and a kitchen. So it still is really nice, and I'm sure I'll like sleep over there all the time, and I feel super welcome there. It's just I like needed more space. Like I have an office here. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't do that at a sorority house. So, I mean, if for some reason I'm on, I become the president, which I don't think will happen because I don't really have time. But um, I don't think I'll live in the house. Ashley asks, how are you? I know that's such a weird question, but I feel like nobody asks. I love a good genuine how are you. Sometimes it's just really nice when someone literally looks you in the eyes and they go, how are you? Not like a how are you, <laughs> I'm good, you know? Like it, it is nice to hear that. So thank you for asking. I'm doing really, really well. I'm definitely tired because I get super into sorority recruitment and I've been having so much fun that my body's kind of like taking a toll. But I'm good. I'm really, really happy to be back here and kind of starting my next chapter here at UGA. I've met so many amazing people. Like I've become so much closer with a lot of the girls in my sorority just from spending so much time with them. I feel really good about this year and I, I'm just, I'm feeling good, so thank you for asking. Will you be taking any trips in the fall slash what classes are you taking? So last year as a freshman, I traveled a lot. I was not here a lot. Um, for whatever reason, I got a lot of opportunities to travel to meet you guys or do whatever and I do not regret that at all. I literally had so much fun. However, this year coming into it, I try not to book as many things. I'm sure there's gonna be things along the way that my manager will call me or whatever and be like, hey, can you do this? And I'll be like, heck yeah, like I want to. But I try not to plan as much before so I can just kind of like enjoy my school year, especially the fall. Like I don't wanna miss a ton of football games. Game days at UGA are so much fun if you guys know, um, or if you just know an SEC football game, they're kind of like something else. The first trip I have planned um, is the first trip I have planned is to go to New Orleans in October which is crazy like that's literally my next trip um, with a ton of my friends we're going for the LSU against UGA game we all stay in New Orleans together in a hotel like literally half my sorority is going and it's gonna be so much fun the second part of that question was what classes are you taking so I'm taking women's studies I'm taking statistics Ugh. I think I'm taking human geography and then one more. I like haven't looked at my schedule all summer. I'm not. E I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Classes start on Monday, but I don't have classes on Monday. I have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm really excited. Bid days on Monday, so we get our new babies. I'm so excited. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram to like see all that fun stuff. Hope you guys don't mind. I just zoomed you in a little bit. It felt far. What are you looking forward to the most for sophomore year? I like this question. I'm looking forward most to being familiar with campus, already having friends, kind of coming in knowing my bearings rather than coming in not knowing anyone but like two people. I'm excited to just kind of know what I like, you know, who I want to surround myself with and just kind of have a good year. Like high school sophomore year was amazing because you're like not a freshman anymore and you like kind of know your ish but you're like still kind of cool and like relevant. No, I'm kidding, but like not. But I'm really excited for this year because I know what I, I I'm just excited. What are your thoughts on dating? I have a lot of questions about dating from you guys. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't like have a boyfriend or anything right now. Um, I just kind of like enjoying living my life and if something comes along the way, that's, that's great. I'm not someone who like wants to look for something like that. I, I'm too busy and too driven to like kind of worry about that. I think everything happens for a reason and someone will come in your life if needed. Current coffee order. So by current coffee order, I'm gonna say my coffee order that's this week. This week I've been doing a grande iced latte with soy milk and an extra shot of espresso. Boom. You have so much going on. How do you manage the stress? Um, I do a lot of things to manage stress. I kind of in the last year realized that I can't just like let this fly and I can't let it take over me. I build my own stress, you know, like I do everything so I'm the one that's giving myself the stress but I love it. I like, I like being stressed a little bit, it's kind of cool, it's kind of comforting to know that you have so many amazing opportunities or it's kind of comforting to, you know, have amazing opportunities and have to figure out how to balance them all and all that fun stuff. I'm really into essential oils, like when I kind of feel myself like breathing not so great or whatever, I use essential oils and just kind of like bring myself back. I've been really into working out. Um, I just joined Orange Theory. Um, really into that. There's one, in, there's actually two in Athens. So I've been going to that. It really helps when you release your endorphins. It makes me feel so much better and less stressed. I've been taking baths. 
Um, honestly, just kind of being like, okay, stress, I see you, but I'm not going to let you take me over. Have you ever suffered with any eating problems? I know it gets hard in college, so I'm not sure if you mean eating disorders or like just problems with eating too much. Um, I've never had an eating disorder. I love food way too much. Like, I'm not ever going to be the type of person to not eat something because it could make me gain weight. Like, I'm sorry. I do, I, recently I have been like, trying to watch what I eat and not eat as much and you know eat and then wait and see if I'm full and usually I end up being full so I shouldn't even go get seconds but my mom says I'm an eater like I really do appreciate food and I like to eat like I get really hungry like I love pasta I I love some good rice and beans but then I also love fruits and veggies and stuff like that um, but I do eat like normal amounts of food like I don't eat small portions I I mean freshman year of college I definitely snacked a lot like I definitely made sure to not stock my apartment with Cheez-Its and goldfish and mac and cheese like I haven't made mac and cheese once yet and I've been here for two weeks which I'm really proud of myself I had vegan ramen noodles tonight but I feel like that's not that bad so many dating questions you guys like you guys don't usually care about this stuff I I wish I had a cooler answer for you guys. I don't know. I've been with literally all girls for the last two weeks. Like, I really haven't seen a boy other than my brother who surprised me last week. Do you hold any leadership positions in KD? Um, so not like, I'm not on exec, but I'm on like the PR team. So I help post on the Instagram story for UGA Kappa Delta. Um, I helped make the video, just like random stuff. Brooke Michio is actually the VP of Public Relations. The blah blah. Brooke Minchio is actually the VP of Public Relations, so I'm just kind of like her go-to gal with that stuff, and I've been helping her with stuff like that. What is on your grocery list? I actually kind of like this question. It's kind of unique um, because I recently, you know, have had to start grocery shopping, and it's kind of hard to go grocery shopping because you're like, okay, what do I need to make this meal, or what do I like? I don't know. You have to think of like the basics of what you're gonna need with you. So I guess the main staples that I always go and get when I go to the grocery store, if I'm going to like get a fresh batch of stuff for my fridge. I always get eggs, soy milk, kombucha, whole wheat toast or, or bread, I guess, um, fruit, lots of fruit, um, baby carrots, pita chips, what else, what else? Um, romaine, lettuce, spinach for my smoothies. Those are kind of the things I can think on the top of my head that I always like make sure to go restock on. So I'm gonna end the video off on the grocery list question, it just felt right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the link down below and get yourself your own backpack for back to school. They're shipping out right now. $39.99 and I'm obsessed with them. Also make sure to go check out Brooke and I's podcast. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to record more podcasts and just they're so entertaining. Like I listen to them myself because I crack up so hard. I'm gonna hit the shower and then hit the bed. I cannot wait. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and supporting me. I really appreciate your guys' patience as I am kind of really busy right now transitioning back into the college life so I'm kind of figuring out my schedule and all that fun stuff but I wanted to get this video up for you guys. Um, also, I'm going to be posting a couple sponsored videos in the next couple weeks, and it might seem like a lot because I haven't been posting as many like non-sponsored videos. That's just because I filmed these a while ago and they're now getting approved. I really hope you guys can understand. I'm working with some dope brands right now, and I couldn't be more excited, and I hope you guys can be excited for me too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Woo!